Welcome back to Ether Race. This is week 85, day 5, the true day 5. Um, taking a look at our defenses, we have two more losses. Like, we have not won a single match this week. So it's pretty bad. Uh, so here we got Raging. Okay, so Raging got it, has a plus one plus two air, reposition, and attack plus one. Plus one Larcy with distant counter, deflect magic, yeah, and you know, she comes for repel and panic smoke. Plus two plus five Legendary Azura, Wings of Mercy, Guidance. Home speed 4, Miracle. Mela, even Death Wave. And Mumbo. And finally, Peony. Just drive attack. So they don't actually have a bonus hero this week. But everything else scores, scores properly. So of course bait out of Flora, I mean that's what she's there for, to get baited out. I'll never forget their sacrifice. She's able to take you one hit from Larcy. It's over for you. But yeah, like, Flora has no speed, so she'll always get max repel. And both the tactics room, well, not a tactics room, Morley Mela was holding down um, Renea. And there goes our Renea, take out the dancer, always a good idea. And gamble a trap. And go after Larcy. And then use Mela to take out Sophis. The problem with this is they're basically leaving all their you in its weekend. You have Azura, Mela, and Air all weekend just in range of my Lilina. Like 38 rest plus the plus 6, still not enough to survive a Lina hit. But Lilina wants to take out their dancer too. Azure just looks weird with a mustache. And then Yuna misses the kill by one. Otherwise, it would have lost two units right there. So, from here, just take out Lilina. There's a trap. Get the ether and finish off. I'll defeat you where you stand. Unit. So they lost one unit in one pot. And we got rematched by Nadzilla. And this is a very interesting thing because this is something you don't see every day. So here we have a plus three plus four Len. Uh, with desperation, Swiss Sparrow. Attack smoke, reposition. And here you have a male Corrin. And Corrin is the actual carry in this team, not a support unit. So he went with the Yato Define for speed. He's using an arena um, rally, rally death res, ether, distant counter, repel, train attack speed, phantom speed. So yeah, this is the carry is Corrin. Peony with Mumbo, chill speed. Azora with Mumbo, flyer formation. And Lilith, a plus one plus five Lilith with doll range. Um, what is her A skill? I don't remember what her A skill is because I pretty much gave mine this encounter day one. IO shield, soul reposition. So. 
yeah, like Lilith is the support unit as opposed to the carry, which is what I use her for. So, go of the left side, always the safest route to take, just because of the wall that's right there. Yep, just open up a path. They got the panic manner and go after the flora. One shot, poor flora. And then use Lilith's teleporting ability to take off Yune. Because she's partnered with Corin. Put her in front of Sotis. She's using a bond skill. And unfortunately, um, uh, Lilina got trapped back there, so she won't be doing much. I mean, I don't think she can do a lot of damage to a Lilith anyway. Like the, but she'll just go against the corn and get one shot. It. From here is just get the ether. Moro, I beseech you. And listen, they got the Erica. Yeah. And leave her there to take a hit from Renea. <laughs> so yeah, Renea. And then just use corn to take it out. So that's a pretty cool. Like you don't see um, male corns carries like practically ever, just because everybody uses them as a support bot. But this is pretty cool. Um, you gotta give it to them. All right. So for today's battle. And we start off with a Brahmin because there has not been enough Brahmin ones this week, actually. Uh, I hate this map. I don't like this layout. This layout just uh, does not leave a lot of space for you to work with. So we got Tetis, plus three, uh, Iceberg, Fury, Wings, Mercy, Infantry, Pulse. There's your name, plus three, Iceberg, Fury, Desperation, Grand Orders, and Guidance. So this Kiria can teleport like right here. Kiria with a Harley Bearing. But the problem with Harley Bearing Kiria is that um, she's not gonna double anyone like ever. Lola attack res, drive attack, attack res solo, Ninian plus two, infantry pulse, light breath, HP plus five, noon time, distant guard. There's a Bram, Tag Death Push, Tag Death Bond, and Marissa, plus 10 Marissa. So, um, normally, like, I bring in uh, Leon for this kind of thing. Just plug him here, he can take out the Yune, the Bramimon, and he could take a hit from Kiria. Kiria will definitely move first, and then Tetis will move to Dancer, and then she will attack twice, but getting hit by Kiria is not fun, especially because you're just not going to do enough damage to a Kiria, like, at all. She has lol attack res, so whatever bonus doubler that he has, that's not going to work. And then the problem with Fiorm is just that Bramimon has also a LOL attack res. And LOLs are horrible when you're running bonus doubler. Like Kiria, no problem. We can deal with Kiria. Marissa, 
No problem, we can deal with more SM. Your name, we can take a hit from your name. But Double Dancer kind of poses a problem for me. I had to like try to play her face, Bramimon. So I'll go with Yorm right here and then go straight after Marissa. I'm not gonna be able to double her now with 50 speed. But at least I can attack Smoke. Let's see what else we got. This is bonus doubler. Lilith. My archers, I don't know, I don't think I can do enough. I can take out the Marissa in one hit. That's pretty much Marissa. The, she's been a big wall right there. Also, anyone who uses Marissa, they get major props from me. Because a plus 10 Marissa means that that's plus 10 infantry forces that you did not wait, did not decide to kill her for. So basically, either I try to take, I try to go with Leon to take out, to get hit by Kiria. I have to shut down, I think I have to shut down a Tetis to have her jump over here and attack. And the problem would be like if Mar Marissa would move first and then she gets danced and then she kills you. Like, say you take out all these four, Marissa will move here, she gets dance, and then she kills you. That's... She doesn't have an assist, so she will move first, and she will move this way. Just because the... They will always look to move on top of you. So this is gonna be a not very fun fight. I think I gotta go with this team. That panic manner is a one. It's a 60, okay. And in this team, Fjorm has 50. One and two, 60. She has 60 HP, so I do have to get rid of it. I have to get rid of the panic manner. On this team, I can take it. Mm, I don't know if I need him then. Fine, we'll go with this team. May the land be bountiful. Alright, this is a minus five and this is a minus four, so let's get rid of those things. We get rid of this and this and this. We got a few things we need to get rid of. Like this. Hmm. The glimmer of life. Orders, please. Good morning. Death's caress. All right. Yes. As you say. Maybe this way. Yes. Out with the old. I bestow my blessing. All right. Now set up. I need to set up with my dancer, with everybody away from Fjorm. At least I'll wait enough to, for her not to get it. To avoid um, any accidental deaths. The glimmer of life. So I think the best way is... Orders, please. To put... Ready. Feed. Yeah. I will go. I think I'll need one more turn. It will be done. Because I don't think she has the speed buff. As you say. Out okay, yeah. the old. I need the speed buff. Orders, please. Yes. Hmm. 
could move her here. Dancer, shove her, and I can take on Marissa with a speed buff and smoke everybody else. That iceberg is gonna hurt. And that Luna is the thing that's gonna hurt the Morse. Yeah, that Luna, I don't... I don't know if I'm gonna even survive a Luna from Brahmimon. So let's... All right, here we go. You'll move too. All right. As you say, orders, please. Good morning. Yes, the glimmer of life. I will go. All right. We'll see if we survive a moon, a uh, Luna from Brahmimon. I will crush you. Nope. That's why I can't stand Brahmin one man, like a nymph and false team. I don't really have a way to deal with him. Yeah yeah yeah. All your jumping is gonna do nothing. Survive a kitty. Out with the old. Maybe this way. Yeah, that Marissa was the problem. I couldn't do anything against that Marissa with um Leon. Leon would have gotten killed regardless. I don't I mean I need like pole smoke. If I can get pole smoke. Things like this will be a little more doable. Cause I could I could have just gone in and attack instead of like having to tank. Alright, so what do we got next? Ah uh, okay, this is a lot easier. You're just gonna put all your units in a box. Lysitia will of course hurt, as always. Mumbo. Darting Blow, Death Blow, Lull Speed, Times Pulse, plus 3 Flowers, plus 10, plus 3 Deltia, plus 1 Yune, uh, Aerobatics, Fallen Ike, just Speed Res, Sothis, plus 1, and Fallen Tiki. So, this is a 55, minus 6, I can take that out from here, like for free. And then I can take pretty much everything. Just, yeah, this is a fewer map again. See, there's no, uh, yeah, you're a Dragon Slayer, so no Lilith. Deltia goes one, two. If I destroy this, you can go one, two, and attack this spot. And Deltia can go one, two, and attack this spot. So, kind of don't want Deltia to attack air. Uh, where's your fortress? Okay. Orders, please. 
I guess we just tank, I mean... Yeah, I guess we'll shut you down, I mean, there's really no... No one important, to sh no important target to shut down. This out, As reposition, you you'll be down here, Ready. dance, and then reposition, you'll be on the same side. Okay. Orders, please. Mm, maybe this way. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Snow. Ground orders, aerobatics, which means you can move here to attack Fion, right? Yep. So we can just bait go. you. Because you're the only one with aerobatics. So we just bait you right here. We don't want to do that because of Lysithia. Alright. So we gotta take a Mumbo from Lysithia. You have boots? No boots, so you will not be able to move two spaces. I think I can take out everybody. As you say. Alright. Yes. Maybe this way. Orders, please. That Yeah. Mm. Here comes the Lysithian. You are in my way. Twenty one damage in ah. one shot. Zero damage, and he doesn't get one shot. Okay, from here. We can just go after the ether. 55, you don't have any bonus. That's the last range you need to have. Now you will be able to move two spaces. Because you are next to um, Sotis. I will go. This is turn five, turn six, turn seven. Okay, we have plenty of time to take it all out. Out with the old. As you say. Ready. Uh, yeah, you're being held down, which is not fun. I could smite you. No, if I smite you, you'll be here, and then I can put you up here. And then I can reposition you this way. So let's do that because Maybe this that way, way you're safe. Yes, it will be done. 
and guess we'll give you box. Either. I will go. As you say. You'll be able to move to spaces, so out with the old. Orders, please. I bestow my blessing. Good morning. Yeah, no. Not gonna happen. Fortunately we had to like send Peony away. Grab yes. the As you say. 22 damage. Like nope. <sighs> 45 yes. speed, 47 speed. Okay. We're winning the speed battle, so. Out with the old. Borders, please. Yeah, you As have you special say, fighters, so it will be done. I will go. Ready. And we can put Peony right here to give uh some buffs to Fjorn. Uh, Stick is gonna be a problem. Uh, Not anymore. Alright, and that's it. I came down to the last turn, so yay for extra turns. But yeah, the first map, like the way it was open and the way that Marissa was positioned, and since I can only like uh, isolate one dancer, there was just no way that uh, Leon would be able would have been able to take that on. But yeah, uh, so that's two ladders down. Yeah, two ladders down. Day five. Um, we'll continue to survive. So at least we have like a lot of rematches to do. And this one is going to... Uh, yeah, this one doesn't seem too dangerous. It's not a... A... Whatchamacallit? Gale Force Tavern. So... Yeah. This one I skipped. Plus 10 corn, no thank you. So yeah, we got plenty of rematches to do for day 7. So tomorrow we'll do our regular match on public and then on day 7 we'll take rematches. As for summoning, there is something to summon on. This Father Complex Fray, which is uh, the boating gauntlet banner um yeah green is pretty um tempting but getting ross as opposed to annette is just not something anyone wants blue is um unneeded so what do we get red if we go red yeah we got a red we're going red pray for the best It's just a three star. And it's Athena. Alright, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not even anything worth summoning. Alright, we still haven't found out who the legendary hero is, so we haven't touched that. As I said, the only news is the boarding gauntlet that's about to start. 
in the arena bonus with everybody's favorite hero question mark but yeah that is it for today um thank you all for watching i'll see you all next time bye